intercepted. Pick off by Bashad Breeland. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Now Cousins, he's going to air one out. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times to target him again deep there, unsuccessful. Throwing again, Cousins on second and 10. He's going to try it. He's got him in, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe. They're just looking at it from a fantasy perspective. He's got it. Hit 15. Give him 30 yards there. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the time, they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. Second down, Cousins again. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. On third down, Cousins. And all intercepted would have been a huge pick in the end zone but as it stands that brings up fourth not only did they drop it looked like an interception in the end zone they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum and with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth cousins to throw for it on fourth and it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a fun handshake in the first game, right? <laughs> and I, you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the post-game press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say? Why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. 15 yards through the air and a first down. set of downs here time for a break back to finish it off on ea sports after this so it's rams football here as we get you reset they've got a first in tennessee search for a late score they come up in an offset eye golf on first down on the right side, this is Austin with a catch. Give him 10 yards on pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. And there, the man coverage, not good enough, partner, and they're able to complete the pass. Excellent recognition of the men coverage, and they found the guy.